It is time to address the rumors of cracks supposedly on the deck of the Type 003 carrier, the Fujian. The Fujian is China's new supercarrier, launched by the Jiannan shipyard in June 2022, and is currently fitting out at the shipyard. She possesses state-of-the-art technology, including electromagnetic aircraft catapults, an integrated radar mast, and active electronically scanned radar. When she finally gets commissioned, the Fujian will be the most capable aircraft carrier outside of the United States. Anyway, let's get onto the rumors. In late May and early June, satellite images began circulating online that showed streaks of dark patches on the deck of the Fujian. These were immediately taken by certain people, those who are quick to jump to conclusions, to be cracks on the flight deck. These pictures of the dark patches on the deck proliferated especially quickly on Twitter. These pictures were tweeted and retweeted in a widespread manner, and it is apparent that many of these Twitter users are actively trying to find information to discredit and ridicule the Chinese Navy. Basically, we are talking about echo chambers where people simultaneously fear the rise of the Chinese Navy and sees China as a major threat to democracies everywhere. But at the same time, they try as hard as they can to make the Chinese military forces look weak and incompetent. Many of these tweets are accompanied by jibes such as made in China and tofu quality and so on. You know, the usual stuff. So that's the background. It is fair to say that these people are not interested in the truth. They are only looking for material, whether that be information or misinformation, to feed their own narrative. The tweets you see here is one example of the sort of misinformed social media post that is at the same time false and has the potential to spread very quickly. And unfortunately, that is the low level that a lot of open source intelligence has fallen to nowadays. Now, when the rumors around the cracks on the Fujian began to appear, I had my own thoughts and theories around what they could be. But I chose to wait and see, for more credible information to arrive. On the 13th of June, the Center for Strategic and International Studies, the CSIS, published an excellent article that, in my view, comprehensively debunked the rumors of cracks on the Fujian. Now, I don't agree with everything said by the CSIS. In fact, I have been very critical of some of their work in the past, namely their war game on a US-China war over Taiwan. In my view, the CSIS painted a highly optimistic picture on the likelihood of success for US forces over Taiwan. So I definitely don't take everything they say at face value. But this article on the Fujian is very well done. It comprehensively debunks, I guess what we can call, the crack claims, calling them out for what they are, rampant misinformation. According to the CSIS, commercially available satellite images from the 15th of May showed no visible signs of cracks on the Fujian. And indeed, there are no signs of any sort of repair work on the flight deck. So there are no cracks and no evidence of repairs, at least for the recent alleged flight deck breakdown. The CSIS went on to explain what the dark patches that some mistook to be cracks actually are. They are in fact liquids pooling together and running across the deck. Because the vessel is tied up on the pier on the starboard side, this will sometimes cause a slight tilt with the tidal swings. When this happens, it is easy for liquids pulled on one side of the ship to run across to the other side. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire CSIS article, because I encourage you to read it yourself. It is short and straight to the point. What I will say though is that the conclusion of the article corroborates with my own hypotheses from earlier that the dark streaks on the Fujian were essentially fluids of some sort. 
running across the deck. It was either fluids or possibly the landing arrestor cables in a loosened state. That was my second working theory to explain the false cracks. However, the arrestor cables make less sense as an explanation, because the installation of the landing arrestor cables does not need to happen until much later. In fact, they may not be installed until well after the ship had finished its first sea trials. They will only be needed when the ship is ready for its first launch and recovery of fixed-wing carrier aircraft. So the explanation of fluids or liquids running across the deck has been more plausible from the very beginning. While I didn't fully rule out the possibility of actual cracks on the Fujian, I consider that to be highly unlikely. If that had happened, the Chinese Navy would be faced with two choices. They could either admit the damage that had occurred on the flight deck and front-footing the PR consequences, knowing that the extent of the damage would be revealed by satellite images anyway. The other option is of course to hide the cracks under some sort of cover, while repairs are made on the flight deck. The fact that none of the two options were chosen reinforced my initial belief that the allegation of cracks holds no water. Now let's compare the stories around the Fujian with an actual aircraft carrier that actually broke down fairly recently. I'm of course talking about the UK's aircraft carrier, the Prince of Wales. On the 19th of August 2022, the Prince of Wales suffered a mechanical failure off the UK's southern coast while undertaking a training exercise. Reportedly, the external coupling that connects the outer propeller shaft to the drive shaft of the motors had failed. The Prince of Wales was put into repairs in October and is scheduled to return to service one whole year later, in autumn 2023. I mean, the UK Royal Navy messed up big time. One mistake on the propeller puts the UK's most important warship out of commission for a whole year. The whole incident puts the reliability of the Queen Elizabeth class of aircraft carriers into serious doubt. But I don't see the Twitter users openly ridicule and mock the Royal Navy, even though it would have been well deserved. The fact that certain commentators will only criticize one side in a military assessment based on misinformation should tell you that they lack objectivity and professionalism. If you're interested in the truth, you should avoid them. As the CSIS correctly points out, it is unwise to ridicule China's military industrial complex and naval shipbuilding on the back of unsubstantiated misinformation and in such an unrestrained manner. By doing so, these misinformed analysts fall into the trap of underestimating China's growing naval power. And this is how empires fall. They think they are the best, everyone else are useless, and they become complacent and they will fail, inevitably. If you want to see an informed analysis on Chinese preparations on the Type 003 aircraft carrier, the Fujian, please watch this video right here. That will be all folks, see you next time.